and welcome to the Rock ATX online worship experience. You are getting ready to experience God on another level. Whatever you're seeking from God for your life is available for you as you praise, hear the word, and transform your situation. While you're worshiping with us, feel free to interact with our online ministers in the chat and share this broadcast with your friends and family so they can join you online. Also, make sure you subscribe and follow The Rock ATX on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram to stay connected to all The Rock is doing. Now, shake off the worries of the week and get ready to give God some praise. Service will begin soon. just to give you an idea so we got to think about a system somebody say system, system. now now this is this is so interesting because um, now remember you don't have to be aware of the system to be in it that means the system could be working you and and you don't even know it am I gonna make it sense you know, and, and when we look at, if you look at state, uh, data and if you look at outcomes, if you look at like, like statistics, you got to see, wow, how is everybody who looks like me, does, how is everybody who walks like me, how is everybody who lives where I live, you know, how, you know, how, do, we, how do we all get cancer? How do we all get diabetes? How does every how does everybody every, every, everybody everybody how does everybody get high blood everyone? No, there is I mean what is going on? Is there something that's happening? Understand this now. This is so important. So we look at the system. Let's start with education and notice I have the arrows going both ways because they feed back and forth. Let's talk about education for just a second. All right. Um. Uh, current story, real story. You probably saw, saw it on the news. Uh, if you didn't, uh, um, you might have saw it on the web. Marlin School District. Current, real story. Real story in Texas. Marlin, a small rural st school district in Texas. About, about an hour and a half away from here. Uh, Marlin. Um, they had to cancel high school graduation. Amen. And they have to try to move it back during the summer because they have uh, about 38 high school seniors. But only five qualified for graduation. You have 38 seniors. but only five met the requirements for graduation. Now, understand that now. And, everybody, and now if you look at every, everybody's taken back. I can't believe it. And, and all the interviews, and, and, and it's, funny, funny, it's funny about the interviews because the interviews are, I can't believe the school. I can't believe the teachers. I can't believe the, 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 the administrators. This don't make no sense. You can Google it just right there. And, and everybody's snapping, snapping, snapping. And, and then and when I got the text about it, um, I, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, wait a minute now. I, 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 I'm not saying that we absolve the teachers and administrators of responsibility. But I'm saying, but, but, I, but I'm saying that, that, that as a parent, it, it, that child is your responsibility and that you have, the, you, have the, you have the responsibility to ensure that that child is getting educated with your tax dollars the way that you, they should be get, getting educated. And, and, and many of those students, they, they, why, why didn't they graduate? Um, a large amount of absences. That, that, and, and, and missed assignments not turned in. Not, and I'm saying, wait a minute now, in today's market, you, you get texts and for your kid, when your kid's in school, you, you can get a text when, you're, when your kid gets a, gets, a, gets a 90 or below. You can get a text immediately, you're like, hey, hey, hey. 
Miss Smith say you Miss Miss Smith say you didn't do good on this test, and, and you can't. And then our kids, Miss Smith just don't like me. No. Uh, listen, we 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 gonna go see Miss Smith, and I and I'm gonna talk to Miss Smith and see if you know is the problem Miss Smith, or is the problem Mr. Simons? Am I making sense? Now, why is, it, why is it important? Because in, in, a, in this rural town, now, now you, you got, you, and everybody's going, they, they, nobody told me, nobody told me nothing. And I'm like, mm, uh, truancy, mm, Mr. Simons, mm, I don't, mm. now you might not have read it, but, but I'm, I'm making sense. You might not have read it, you know, but, but I'm saying there, there, are, there are things the, stu- the school had to do. I'm, I'm making sense. Just stay within compliance. I, I, I want you to understand something. Why is this important? Because if I can, if I can, I'm going to use this, ter- use this uh, um, Carl G. Woodson, used to, he, called it, he wrote a book, The Miseducation of the, ne- of the Negro. Um, uh, <clears throat> we can call it miseducation. We can call it undereducation. We can call it lack of education. Uh, or, or we can call it uh, we can call it direct education into the prison school pipeline. But I, but I, but I want you to understand that 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 the educational system is designed to produce a certain outcome. And you as a parent, it is not that system's fault if you let that system do to your your most precious commodity what they will do. Oh, see, see I, I, got, I got 12 hand, cl- hand claps. Well, well, because, and you say, teach, I don't know what the teacher's doing. That's your fault. That, that, means, that means you got to be, you got to be known as, oh, here they come. Oh, Lord, here they come. Oh, Jesus. Oh, here, here, here they come again. Here they, here they come because I'm, I'm saying at, at, when my kids were in school, they, they knew I hear I, they, I'm driving down the hallway, walking slew footed. Oh, oh, we finna meet. We finna meet teachers, uh, administrators, principals, board, whomever. Oh, we gonna meet today. <laughs> we gonna meet today. I walk in the classroom. Well, we need to meet. Because I, I don't you dare let a system start telling you, your child is fine. It, it is the most dangerous lie. Your child is fine. According to who? According to the system. Am I making sense? That means your kid, your kid, just because they get a high school graduation and a diploma, even in a specific school district, doesn't mean they got the same education. And you as a parent have to say, wait, what, listen, wait a minute. How is my kids' grades here? What, what did they learn over here? How do we have after-school checkers and they got after-school t- chess? How, listen, the only thing we got is drama in this school, but they got a th- big old theater over there. I'm, I'm making sense. So you have to, now notice I told you this is not for the faint of heart. Because here's the deal. If I can impact your education, for, 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 for uh, K through 12, I can produce a high school graduate that doesn't know how to read. That doesn't know how to write, write a paragraph. And while, you, while you're celebrating, while your kid is walking across the stage and you're dancing and you're clapping, you don't realize that that, that system has produced a, a laborer. And that's all your kid has learned. That's all they can do. Why? Because you allow the system to produce what it's going to produce. You got to tell, tell them what you see in your child. You got to demand that they pull this out of your child. You cannot allow the system to then t- they say, he's doing fine. Your child is doing great. They're making a seat. What a C means is average. What average means is that they're doing about the same as the middle person in the class. 
and that's really good for them. And you as a parent, listen, and you, because they, they teach your kid to be a, a lazy learner. They teach your kid to be a passive learner. And then your kid like, I don't like to read. And now you got, now you got an 18 year old sitting at your house, dumb as rocks. No work ethic, no stick to itiveness, no personal discipline, and everything else. And now, and now after, after you done gave them the cupcakes and $100 for graduation, they're going to be on your couch for the next 30 years. Because education, your level of education directly impacts your economics. So, so come here, Jaleel. Come here, Jaleel. So, Jaleel, I can... The system can train you, and they can train you on whatever they want to train you on. Whatever's in this, in this manual, they're going to train you on it. Now, here's the deal. Parent, if you don't know what's in there, that's on you. So, but, but understand this. While they're, tra- while they're educating your child, your son, your daughter, they're, they're producing something. They have a goal. And, and you're, we're not asking questions about what's happening. We just wait. And when your child 18, you say, you don't know how to read? What do you, mean? What, what, what do you mean you don't know how to write an essay? They told me to write an essay for this college. I don't know how to write an no essay. What do you mean you don't know how to write an essay? Well, let me see what you wrote. Suble- your subject and verbs don't agree. You can't, that, that, that's not a sentence, you run on. It's just, it's just like this train of thought, like somebody woke you up out of a drug-induced coma and you started talking. But you graduated. Why? Because we never questioned and monitored wh- wh- what was happening, if I'm making sense. So now when they did this, when they did this, what, what did they control? Come here, Charles. They control, because if I can control this, then I can ensure that, that, that he can only make this amount of money ever. He said. <laughs> That's all he can make. That's all he can make. And, I, and if I have him in the service industry, I'm setting him up. Why? Because technology is actually advancing and actually eradicating the human service industry. So now, it, now in 10 years, he's not going to have a spot. Right? So now, I, but, but if I can control how much money he makes, come here, Charles, just stand right, stand right here. So if I can control how much money he makes, then I can control, give my welcome home mat. Come here, Rachel. Get the, get the mat right under you. Then I can control this, where she lives. Because economics tell you where you can live. Economics tell your environment. So now, because she only makes X amount of money, she can only live in this neighborhood. Period. And it just so happened that 15 years ago, this neighborhood was a petroleum dumping site. So when she's having kids and her kids are running around outside, they, they sucking up all the, all the dust and the chemicals from, from the petroleum site. And then she's like, why my kids got asthma? Why my kids always got a cold and always do, dealing with this? It's because they, 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 they taught you a certain way so you can only make a certain amount of money and you can only live right here. We don't have sidewalks. Where do my kids play? In the street. Why? Because in this area of town, we didn't put in that infrastructure. But it just so happened to be where she could live. Right? And then what does, listen, and in this area, guess what also we, we control? They control what kind of food, what kind of lifestyle people live. There's a, there's a thing um, there, there's a thing uh, that, that came out last year. Um, I think it's Randy Washington, I think. Her last name is Washington. But she talked about this idea of food apartheid. Not, not just food deserts. Because food deserts and food swamps are the outgrowth of food apartheid. Food apartheid is 
the idea where, where you intentionally separate people from healthy choices. Because in this area, you already have a plan that there are, no, there are not going to be any healthy choices here. Now, listen, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. I don't know how many of you live. But I don't know where you live. I don't, know where you, I don't even know where you're streaming from. But think about it. I want you to just think about where you, where you live, wherever it may be in the United States, wherever it may be in, in, in Texas. And ask yourself, if I wanted to go have a healthy meal within, within 10 minutes of where I live, that I didn't have to order by number, that didn't come with ketchup packets. I'm, I'm making sense. That I did not say with or without cheese. And I'm, how many of us can say, man, I got, I got this place I can go, that place I can go. Most of us saying, well, dog, I have to drive. I got to leave my neighborhood to go get something healthy. Look at something decent. Am I making sense? You know why? Because they, because somebody planned in a system that if I educate him this way, and I, he'll only make this amount of money, he can only live right here, and I don't have to think about trying to kill him, because ecologically, I, I'm killing him anyway. It's just a slower process. It's called ecological lynching. And people don't like the term lynching, but lynching is strangulation. It, it, it is using your body weight to cut off your passageway so that, you, so that you cannot get the things you need. And if I work you right, I can use your body weight right here that I developed to, so that you only have enough money so you'll be right here. And I can predict by zip code your lifespan. I'm going to make it sense. So now, wherever she lives, she's only going to live on an average to 72. And by 58, she's going to have diabetes. And by, and by 50, she's going to have high blood pressure. That, so, so by 65, that her blood pressure and her diabetes, everything else, she has no place to walk. I, there's no lights, there's no, there's no lighted parkways where she can go walk and exercise, everything else. So now I can guarantee that she's going to have a sedentary lifestyle so that she's going to get fatter, unhealthier, congestive heart, and it's going to be a cascading effect of stuff, and I never touched them. I just put them in the system. Look around, listen, look around your neighborhood. How many people are dealing with diabetes? Look around your family. How many people, are, how many people have the same disease? And we say, this is just how we are. Could it be that, just, could it be that maybe y'all are just part of the system? And now everybody in your family get up, get up in stages. Now don't talk about it. See, when you, when you start getting up in stages, you got to say, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm making sense. See, see, but I, it's quiet here. So, so now, now give, give, me, give me my bus. Give, give me my bus. Give me my, give me my bus right there. That, that, little, that little bus, I'm sorry. Give me that bus right here. Thank you, thank you, Phyllis. So now, thank you, woman of God. So now, I can say, I've, I've educated him, so I made sure he only had this, much, this, this amount of money, and now I put him in this neighborhood, right? Yeah. Then I can say, uh, uh, Elder, will you come? Uh, Elder Rutley, will you come? That's all right. She didn't, get, she didn't have to get up in stages. It was, <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> so now what happens? Now, what I can do then is I can say, in this area of town, there's only, I can limit the kind of transportation that, 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 that's available for everybody. So there's only one bus that runs this time. There's no buses. There's, we're, plan, we're, planning, we're planning the rail system, but we just happen not to put it 
over here because we're saving money. Now, now, it's over here going all the way there straight to downtown. But, but, but if you catch it here, you got to walk down the non-sidewalk street on the non-lighted non road through the non-lighted park Stand over there under a little shed and everything else, and then catch 12 buses to, to get downtown. But over here, it's one. Why? Because if I make it harder for you to transport, I increase your stress. If I make sure that if I if I make sure your roads are always listen, there's always traffic around you. Not only are you stressed, but you're sucking in smog all day long. So while you're sitting in traffic, you're breathing in all that exhaust for 30 years. And you wonder why after, after, after 58, you're like, <coughs> it's like I, got, I got some respiratory problems. It's because you've been, you've been breathing in smog and stuff for the last 30 years because you've been living over here for the last 30 years. Am I making sense? And there's one, and there's one road in and one road out. But, but, those were the, listen, but those were the homes that you could afford. Am I making sense? Now, now, now. and so now, they, this group of people, listen, they can only ride, they can only, if they want to go to the grocery store downtown, they got to leave the house at 8 o'clock in the morning to get, to get downtown by 11.30. Then they gotta walk a half mile. That makes sense. Makes sense. Now, and then how much food can they carry? Now, th this is interesting. And so now, what you do is you make people sicker and sicker, right? Because I'm stressed. I don't have nothing. I don't, my, my money, my, my house is jacked. My money's tight. So I'm, my stress is my stress levels uh, high. Give, give me my medical device. Where is it? Right there. All right. So now, what happens? Ironically. Ironically, come here, Elder Stinson. Now, now he's going to need some medical assistance in life just to, just to live. Come on. But, but now, here's the catch. Here's the catch, saints. Here's the catch. I want to show you this. Here's the catch. The question is, can he afford it? And the question is, the question is, can he get there? So, yeah, I made him sicker, but I also made it harder for him. I'm, I'm going to make it sense. So now he has to make, he has to make decisions on whether he's going to get it, because that, that machine costs this. That medicine costs that and everything else. And now he's like, do I take the medicine or do I eat? Do I take my pill every other day to stretch it out because I can't afford, because I, because I don't have the kind of health insurance that's, that's going to pay for it. And so now I'm stuck now in a quandary of how, not only do I live, but the quality of life that I live. Stress. And then, and so when he, when he has heart problems and he has chest pains, he got to catch the bus. And he has to call in because he got, he got, he got access to, he got, he got the, the, free, the free or the reduced uh, uh, health program. So now his next appointment is September the 19th. <laughs> and so now he got to manage whatever he's dealing with while somebody in another part of town calls their doctor and says, I need to see you today. And they're like, come on in. And they walk right in, get the medical attention they need, the testing they need, but he has to fight now and decide, do I, do I get the testing? Do I buy groceries? Do I live with? And I'm like, nobody's talking about this. I'm making sense. And then lastly, when, when people get fed up with it and they get stressed out, then what happens is this. Come here, Curtis. Pe 
Now listen, listen. People start making choices. They start making choices on how they operate. They start making choices on what they got to do. And then, and then the, the, the criminal justice system is set up. It's waiting for them. It's waiting for them. And so now, you know, I'm, I'm not justifying crime, but I'm saying he got, he got heart issues, he got head issues, he got home issues, and then he starts doing some stupid stuff. And he shouldn't do stupid stuff. But everything is set up for him to do st stupid stuff. I'm making sense. And so can you imagine now, this is the system and nobody's talking about this system. And no one's saying, what does the Bible say about this system? Because we, because we want to believe that the Bible tells us that, listen, we're going to get our payoff in heaven. But that's the same lie they told the slaves. Thank you. You may, you may take your seats. Thank you. Thank you for worshiping with us today. If you're in need of prayer or someone to talk to, our online ministers are available for you right now in the chat. And we invite you to join us again for our extraordinary worship services every Sunday at 10.30 a.m., Sunday at 4 p.m., and Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Central, where Dr. Moody teaches how to understand the Bible and you can get your biblical questions answered. We look forward to connecting with you and ask that you subscribe to The Rock ATX on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay connected to all The Rock is doing. Also, you can connect with us through our website at therockatx.org. Again, thank you for worshiping with us and be blessed.